I run a group that does research in two different areas. We work in uh, astrophysics and in energy research. Basically, we're trying to understand the physics of really, really hot matter, or ionized plasma, under thermonuclear conditions. If we understand turbulence under these extremely hot conditions, we'll be able to design energy reactors to produce power that could uh, replace the oil economy someday. To do this kind of work requires a lot of experiments, and these experiments are very expensive. They're building one right now in France. It's going to be the largest physics experiment ever built. That experiment will come online in 10 years, and each time you want to study something, it will cost a lot of money just to run it. But what we're trying to do is build computer models that will predict the operation of that kind of device ahead of time to make it easier to run it successfully. We can set up the problem, understand what it is we're going to do, and we're building a cluster of GPUs so that we can do the largest calculations on GPUs as well for a lot greater value for the dollar, a lot more science for the dollar. At the same time, people spent enormous amounts of money putting the Hubble telescope into space and the Chandra X-ray telescope, and we're trying to understand what those telescopes are seeing. When you're looking that far out into the universe, you're seeing turbulent, very dynamic events, uh, but you're also looking through turbulent plasma. And to understand what you're seeing, you have to understand a lot about turbulence. Right now, we use the largest supercomputers in the world, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 processors, all working together to do one calculation of a turbulent a phenomenon of some kind. The GPU allows us to do these calculations 25 times faster now. It takes uh, one day of work and turns it into an hour. We don't have to wait in line for the national supercomputers. We can do our calculations right there uh, at home in the desktop or in the, uh, in the laboratory. So it's very exciting for us. CUDA expresses the parallelism of science very efficiently. So the scientific calculations that we want to do are often doing the same thing to large amounts of data. And CUDA lets us do that efficiently. If we want to understand the beautiful images we get from Hubble, these are the kind of calculations we need to do.